So let's start and try and recreate what um, what I've got going on here and how did, how did I go through the process of designing this this way. Um, and so I go here and you know here's here's my headline, here's my deck head, here's my by, byline, my photo credit. And now I want to file in place an image in here. And um, you know, luckily I've got uh, somebody who's telling me you know what their first choice for photos are, or second choice, third choice. And so as I'm going through here, I'm just going to go through the p and looking for something that works well on uh, on that two-page spread. And so I'm kind of like looking down the middle of the photograph. This is kind of a boring photograph here. Uh, this go that goes down the middle, so that's not good. This is a maybe. Um, there's too many people here. This is a detail shot, so that's not a opening spread. So this is a great shot. Uh, we got a lot of space, um, and we've got some room to move around. This is also a good shot too, um, but uh, I chose this one instead. So I click open, and I'm going to click and drag to the width of the two-page spread. And so here it is. Now it's deeper than the uh, the magazine, but I'm going to just move up and crop off a little bit of the sky. So I just moved that up to align to the bottom of the page. It's not totally touching the edge of the page, so I'm going to command shift drag. So it's a little bit bigger and then this blue frame is the photo frame that I can crop off the image. The brown is the actual image itself. We can move the image around inside of that frame. Um, or we can go um, fit frame to content. And again, let's reposition it back into position and crop it right there. So remember, you know, even though we've got, a, uh, this is a pretty open page, and a lot of times the grids don't really matter as much um, as they do on the jump page. Um, but, uh, you know, there's always kind of like this subliminal feel when you do align things to the grid in a design. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, grab the headline bring it over here, paste it, and so I'm looking for, you know, there's a lot of sans serif going on here, so I'm going to make sure I choose a sans serif typeface. So I'm going to Helvetica, and lucky thing with this Helvetica, it's got a really um, large family, and so I'm going to go with black extended, and it's all caps, so let's make it all caps. And so usually I'll kind of take this and break it up into pieces. So Bondurant, cut that, paste it. It's very similar to your uh, word mark. I'm going to object fitting, fit frame to content, and then command shift drag. Sometimes these are too small, so I gotta make it a little bit deeper. Command Shift, grab that corner and drag it out. I just um, change that uh, to fit to content and cut this, paste. Now, if I wanted to have it the same point size as this, I could just highlight this and then hit the eyedropper and click on this. Now I know it's the same. And so maybe maybe I want to have this centered underneath here. And the design sense today is to have very tight letting in your headlines. So I'll make sure those are nice and close together. And then we have this one left over, take owners, track side. And I'm going to make the 
this a little bit deeper so I can command shift and drag this corner. So Bondurant and Fiat, they're both the same uh, in the hierarchy. And then take owner's track side is um, a little bit smaller. So this is one way of doing it. And I pulled this over here and it, it's hidden behind the photograph so I can go object, um, arrange, bring to front, and then I'll bring it to the front. Now this is the deck head. I'll make this uh, sans serif as well. Maybe add some tracking to it. You know, in an online course, whenever you're designing, you should really print uh, print items out to see what they look like in print, because they always seem a lot smaller on a screen than they do in print. And uh, so this is going to be fairly big once you print it out. Um, and then we have get rid of some excess returns here, get rid of excess returns, and then I'll differentiate these by typeface. So first we're going to do Helvetica, and then we're going to do black, centered, and then we'll Usually the photographer is uh, lower in the hierarchy than the, the author. So we're going to new, put all caps, maybe 10 point, centered, maybe track it out some. Because we're differentiating the photographer from the um, the author. And bring this over here. Now it's always best to do things with the grid showing because you want to make sure that this is in the center of the grid. And so we have some hierarchy. You know, this is really part of this. So it's going to get closer proximity, but not as close as these guys because this is one unit and this is closer to that. And then kind of float this in the center of this dead space right here. So, kind of similar. I made this a little bit bigger. I uh, changed it up. I said uh, Bondurant and Fiat is smaller, and then Take Owner's Trackside is bigger. Um, you know, it depends on what you think is most important with the story.